Hello guys and welcome back to Star Sector. Um, when I left, last left you guys, we were looking at the bounties that we unlocked once we uh, raised up this uh, comm rail relay in the middle of nowhere in a former uh, system owned by pirates. And we're actually going to start and handle these guys. Uh, these are two fleets. Uh, I know where this one is because it's in a yellow primary star this is the only one here and this other one is in irradiated world in regardless nebula and given the fact that i've already checked most of the regardless nebula and i have the data for it i can be relatively certain he is in here in the blue giant uh, but these are two very hard fleets well hard but you know difficult end game-ish fleets uh, this has two onslaughts which i have to handle and this has two conquests and a doom, which may be harder than I expect, as also eagles and uh, falcons and God knows what else. So we're gonna give it a shot, see how how I do. Uh, I should have enough firepower to take them out. I just took a, out a fleet that had an onslaught in the last episode, um, and we'll see. But the first thing, I have to refit this wolf. I actually forgot about this guy, this little guy. Oh, let's see what do I have with me. Pulse lasers, yeah, sure. Pulse lasers. Let's put an IR. Do I have sabots? Yes, I have sabots. Some PDs, LRPDs, sure. Oh, I... Totes don't have the energy for this. The flux for it, because you know, faulty power grid. I'll just do a graviton beam actually. It's a lot more flux efficient and that will be fine. Yeah, this should be roughly about it. First uh, bounty we'll be taking on will be the one with the dual onslaughts. Yeah, this one, the smaller fleets from the pirates that I just displaced from the system. Also, I really should technically, at this point, do I have any easy way? If I would have installed the comm sniffer, I would uh, have, you know, a little icon on next to it. Hmm. Uh, just so, you know, if I want, I can return to, like, Zeta Piscum, you know, and... Uh, I Sorry, not Zeta, but uh, Epilon, Epsilon Piscum. And I know I have uh, a relay here, so I don't have to go all the way back to, you know, the core worlds to get new bounties. But a, a, a way to more easier have an easier time remembering where those are would be helpful. Oh, I haven't been here. Wait. Oh right, I haven't been here. Okay, sure. I think that's for fleet. Let's save the game. I think there's a pirate base around here. There's, that's a lot of activity. Oh, 
it's a logic base, logic path base. Uh, sure. Okay, let's focus. First thing I gotta do uh, in a baron, uh, baron plan, right? This is a baron. Yeah, so he's here. I'll get here and do the bounty and then see what I'm gonna do with this setup here. I, I may want to farm a bit of these, uh, you know, destroy them, they come, they reinstall them, I destroy them again to get some transcriptonics from them. Bounty target. Well, a bit more cares than I expected. I'm another monitor that I would hope to get. And that's a lot of broadswords. Okay, fine. Should be doable as long as it doesn't fully throw out. Uh... Oh. I was gonna say, unless they fully throw out the, both of the uh, onslaughts at the same time, but I, for some reason, I thought both of them were outdated ones, but this is uh, a 14th battle group <laughs> onslaught with the elite setup, which is quite a bit uh, heftier than what you would find in the outdated one. Uh, okay. Okay, we're reaching when uh, let's remove one of those Shane let's get the dominator in it's not the best setup hmm. no all sorts are slower I'm gonna go with uh, ships that are removable and can uh, just uh, make them run for their money. Let's see what we have here. Sensor jammer, com relay, nav view. And yeah, they have fully throw out, thrown out both the uh, onslaughts. I can see it because of the ratios here, showing the in the combat uh, radar, the ratios between my fleet and their enemy fleets, active uh, assets on the battlefield. Actually, banking a lot of my uh, anti-hard capital ship, like anti-onslaught uh, armory uh, capabilities, actually, uh, with the um, on the uh, carriers on the Moras and their uh, bombers. Oh, another 14th battle group enforcer. And the hegemony style uh, wolf auxiliary or something like that. I 
had hoped I would not. I had hoped I would uh, have enough uh, leeway to not over get overloaded. Okay, let's see how the battlefield is progressing. Let's cancel that because it's not important. see the onslaughts yet. This one will probably retreat. But I need to put a lot more pressure on them. harder time here with uh, with these eagles than I was expecting. Also, where are the arm slots? Did they not deploy them yet? Well, I'm not like I'm really complaining, but uh, it's possible that they will uh, come in a second wave of reinforcements, maybe, after I get some of these down. really really off base here. I really should probably get back to the main fleet and I will ask for some reinforcements. Actually. I'm not really happy with the damage I took on my front armor. It's amazing how the Falcon just completely ignored what I told it to. And yeah, first onslaught is on the field. Try and make the best speed there. I think that was the same wolf I was uh, fighting with earlier.
Wow, my guys are putting a lot of pressure on this onslaught. But still, there's another onslaught that still has to come, so... There it is. Here, guys, going like you need more armor penetration, but yeah, uh, I know I'm actually shooting hull, but the hull has a portion of the armor as base armor, so that's why that was hard. Okay, perfect, we don't want to have that escape. Let's retreat that one because I don't want it to die. But I think it's getting swarmed by fighters. Oh yeah, there we go, destroyed. It's actually escaping like 600 hull. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I think we're, we'll do a chase if I have enough uh, high CR things remaining.
Okay, I lost one wolf, and they retreated actually a fair bit of things, including the enforcer, enforcer, battle group enforcer. It's a good thing that Eagle is disabled. The low CR to deploy. I don't know why I deploy so many ships on these pursuits because I usually know that uh, you, the AI doesn't have the aggressiveness needed to actually engage them very well. Okay, should we? <gasps> Finally, monitor, thank you very much. Ah. This would be cool. Of course, I'll have to mothball them. I, um, I won't be able to take them in uh, full uh, CR back to Tijamani space, to co the core walls. So yeah, let's go recover on these. Let's go to fleet and let's mothball them. I, think I can repair the monitor, that's fine, I can also repair this. Technically, I should have mothballed the enforce the dominator as well. Actually, let's mothball this. I'm, I really am not using it. I actually dropped this off last time. Shit. 407 OP Well, I have an onslaught <laughs> Not a big fan of the ship, but I do know it's extremely capable When actually used right and fully aggressive drop extra cargo because I mothballed a few ships with, which provide the capacity.
Hmm. Oh, wait, no. I'm enemies with the Lithic Path, so I can't. Can I? I think I can trade with them. They're pissed at me. I don't care. Okay, these guys will probably not engage me. The uh, thing is, I'm running really low on supplies, and if I want to trade those guys, I will have to avoid batting them so I don't get uh, the. You have you have caused trouble around here, and we will not serve you for the next month or so. they're smart enough not to engage. And that will actually make them a lot uh, a lot slower. And that's it, they already rebuilt it here. I'm entirely curious, let's see. Absolutely perfect trading. So, in, in, from this station in the middle of nowhere, I'm gonna buy supplies and actually sell these. They don't give me more, right? More money for the surveys these are basics 1000 3000 so i can just sell them all here get a nice chunk of cash oh and yeah i don't get the the prices because i'm not in your com relay but it doesn't matter let's actually sell this i think it's cheap but either way Let's sell all these because I'm not gonna use them even in uh, even if I were in the core worlds. I'm not gonna hang on to them. Let's max my stuff out. Okay, perfect. And uh, actually, I don't need that enforcer that I have. I can actually s just sell the enforcer, this enforcer. I can just sell it here at the black market so it will free up some slots and people. Oh, we have people, I have to buy people. Okay. Let's actually uh, unmothball these. Let's repair them. Oh crap, I need another 200 people to be able to actually do this. And I already bought out all of their people. Hmm. How critical? 82, 70 CR. Yeah, uh, I lose 3 CR due to the crew and the strength, which isn't horrible, completely doable. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, right, I can. I can't repair them instantly because, well, I can only do basic trade, but I cannot do a, I cannot do um, full repairs here. Still, I want to repair these up to health because you can lose these if you just lose random CR. If one of them gets hit in a, a hypersta hyperspace storm, I'm gonna lose them. So I will have to actually repair these. Yeah, 
and let's do some refitting if it, and yeah I need to refit these I have no idea how to fit the, an onslaught to be honest Missile turrets. Oh my god, that's a lot of slots. Right, I'll just keep it something like this. I'm entirely sure it's a waste of a ship for the moment, but I'm not gonna bother fitting it properly. And let's do an auto fit on this. And yeah, the monitor. Nice, finally nice to have one of these. Let's do hardened shields. It has a 300 arc and it's an omni shield. I think it would be best here to put it with the shield conversion, shield conversion front. Or just some shield extenders. This is three. How much is to extend the shields? Four. Okay, let's do shield extension. So it has 360 degrees, so it doesn't really matter. Let's do stabilize shield for another 30 uh, flux dissipation per second. Oh well, these are universal mounts. Nifty. Oh, actually, the flat cans are, are built in. Sweet. Let's find something with a long range. Yeah, I think the tactical lasers that actually were on it were the good choice. Just enough to annoy them. And yeah, I get weapons flux per second 250 at 240 dissipation and at 30. Okay, I would want a bit more efficiency here just so I can... Uh, so this doesn't ever have to worry that it gains flux by shooting. 
so it would have to be weapon flux plus the flux equal to total flux dissipation. Light mortars, right? Light mortars had a long range. Range 600 and only 50 flux per second. But that's about as much as the as the lasers, right? Attack the lasers. No, that's 75 per second. So okay, let's do two light mortars. That will get me 230, which for 240 flux dissipation that'd be great. And put everything else into capacitors, although I would want a bit more capacitors than I have there. Okay then, so... Uh, yeah, I think, actually... Let's check my supplies. I have 732 supplies and I'm gonna waste a lot more of them. I think maybe down to around 400 to repair what I have now. But uh, I don't think, I don't know why I shouldn't just continue with the initial plan and kill this guy. He's in ready at the world, in a giant primary star, in the Ergatis Nebula. And I think I said we, it should go to Epsilon Ergatis, right? Because Epsilon Ergatis, scroll out, scroll out, has the irradiated world. Which I think is the the only ones in this uh, cluster. It's a single star. And yeah, and Osir doesn't have any irradiated worlds, so it's the blue giant here. I'm actually going to... I'm actually going to uh, not uh, destroy this uh, base here, because it's a decent resupply point. Even if they hate me, I can still buy supplies and uh, people here. And it's nice to have. I'm gonna build a... No, not the nav viewing, we need something else here. I'm, I'm not sure if they will destroy it to build something else or if they will just capture it. Oh, <laughs> I need metals. <sighs> Fine, fine, we'll waste a bit of time here. Uh, go break that one and put the, the camera network there. And that's what I'm gonna say, they probably will not they'll capture my comm network, but I don't think they will actually um, you know, break it down to put something else instead. So if I put a comm relay here, I'm entirely sure that I'm half sure, actually not entirely sure, that they will just capture it and I don't care. I just need to have access to it every once in a while. And actually, uh, I think it matters who has it, right? If I enter the system and they have it, I still get the info from it. So that's great. And we just found out there's another one, another uh, bounty. Uh, an arid world in a binary star system in the Argatis Nebula. Arid world, arid world. Let's do just a quick check. Oh, I haven't been here. Okay, sure. Doesn't matter. Uh, let's just head for the blue one. And don't worry about that later. I'm pretty sure it's uh, more than a few days away. Yeah, 86 days away. No problem. Let's do a final pass by the station just to uh, see if it has any more supplies or people. Ok, 
Okay, awesome. Still doesn't get me past uh, the crew required, but... Uh. And it's great because they don't have uh, large fleets to... Uh, I have large fleets enough to actually engage me, so I have free reign over the system unless, you know, I they find a lot of grouped up uh, ships and together they have enough to ally and actually engage me. Yeah, this is probably some scavengers, I don't want to engage them. Hmm. Just do a quick uh, battle with these guys. Yeah, maybe. But I will actually be leaving uh, that for the next time. Uh, we'll kill these guys, head over to uh, this blue giant, do another bounty, and uh, we'll see where that leaves us. Again, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.